International Service for Human Rights for a joint statement. Mr. President, I am a woman human rights defender. My work is important and I am legitimate. I am not an organ of society. I am a human rights defender. We welcome the strong resolution on defenders which, seeks, which speaks to the grave threats facing defenders of economic, social and cultural rights. We are encouraged by the rejection of all adverse amendments which sought to undermine the resolution, seeking to hide serious violations. We deeply regret the attempts at undermining the resolution and the fracturing by a small minority of members of a decade-long consensus for the protection of defenders in an attempt to avoid accountability for their own crackdowns on civil society. Reflecting on this session, we welcome the creation of an expert panel on accountability in the DPRK. It is a key step towards ending decades of impunity for rights abuses in North Korea. The Commission to Address Human Rights in South Sudan is a long overdue mechanism that, that addresses and ensures accountability, and we expect South Sudan to fully cooperate. Both resolutions usefully complement the Council's existing toolbox to address crit crit critical situations. We welcome the adoption of the resolution on Myanmar under Item 4, the extension of the mandate, and the call for benchmarks. We hope that these will assist the government to address systematic challenges and enable the Council to objectively address the need for future scrutiny. We welcome the joint statement delivered by a range of states on China, which builds on the increasing attention the High Commissioner has paid to the situation. Our organizations regret the adoption by vote of the flawed resolution on effects of terrorism and its instrumentalization of victims for the purpose of shielding states from scrutiny from their own poor rights records. On peaceful protest, we welcome the adoption of the resolution and look forward to the Council's continued attention on the issue. Finally, Mr. President, while we thank you for your leadership, we look to you to ensure that civil society can participate freely, free from abuse, abusive points of order and other forms of intimidation or reprisals offline or online. I thank you.